All right, guys, here you go. Here you have it. After four hours of washing it. All right, so if you ask me if, if it's worth it, I say yes, it's worth it. But yes, it takes so much time. Using Amo NYC method. Here we are. So I wash it and then I protect this as well. Hey guys, Vincent here, and I just bought a new Mazda CX-5. So today I'm gonna show you how I wash my car for the first time, follow the Armor NYC method. So as you can see that I'm living in an apartment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my car to the waterless coil washing, and then wash my car from there, but still follow the Armor NYC method. Um, the product I'm using today is not Armor NYC, I think it's kind of like Amo NYC alternative. So I'm sorry, Larry, but it's a little bit too pricey for me. All right, let's not further reduce it started. As you guys can see, this is my car after like one week of daily driving. A lot of dust on the surface. Keep in mind that I'm just driving this to go to work. And this car is like one week old. So a lot of dust dust everywhere and I'm living in Texas uh, in a industrial town so this is understandable a lot of dust here's all the tools I'm going to use today I have three buckets this one going to be the wash bucket filled with water this one going to be the uh, wheel bucket and this one going to be the um, paint bucket so just like Armour NYC right and beside that, I'm gonna have this five gallon jug, just full of fresh water for this pressure washer. 12 volt pressure washer right here. And so this will be used in conjunction with this battery right here. This is 12 volt battery. Uh, I don't wanna use my car battery because um, I know it's, it's a new car and I don't want to ruin it or have any trouble with it. I'm gonna be regret, you know? So in the paint bucket, I'll have the brick guard. Yeah. And then a uh, fancy um, wash mate from the wife. <laughs> And in the wheel bucket, I'm gonna have two wash uh, one for the lower portions of the um, of the car, and one for the wheel, dedicated for the wheel. So that means I need this wheel over here in the pin bucket, and uh, I have the wheel wally, and all of this have the grid card too. So let not further ado, fill up with water. We are here at the Tesla stations. So, like I said, I'm gonna follow the Armor NYC Master Guy on the step, and also um, in this video, I'm gonna be following my personal step that I come up with, and I'm gonna put the link for all of the step down below. So, be sure to check it out. Let's get started. The first step in Armor NYC Master Guy is to clean the engine. But before doing that, I rinse my car and the wheel thoroughly with a pressure washer. This to make sure all the heavy dust is washed away and makes the following step easier. Leave off the hood, I clean the engine without using the water like in Armor NYC. I was scared of messing it up, so I use a clean paint brush from Roller Tree to brush off the engine dirt. Make sure the engine is warm, never hot. Next, with the 12 volt pressure washer, I rinse the wheel one more time. Next, I spray the Mawai Ultimate Cleaner to lose all the brake dust. This is my alternative to Armor Plum. And then, with the wheel bucket, I use a wheel wool to clean the wheel from top left to bottom left, top right to bottom right. Quickly go to the rubber surface with the wheel wool. Still, with the wheel bucket, I use a dedicated wash mist for the wheel. But the goal here is to get the dirt behind the rim. Then, I top off the lug nut with a brain brush. Larry said it is very important to clean the wheel with the water before move on to the next one, so that the chemical don't eat your wheel. 
Once finished, I move on to the next one and repeat all the steps. Breathe, rinse, spray, will wally, will mist, burn brush, and then rinse. Don't forget to clean the exhaust. Larry recommends to clean it while you clean the wheel. I use a wheel wheelie and a wheel bucket to clean the exhaust as well. Now comes the fun part, the paint, the face of the car. With my fancy white Maguire wash mitt, I start with the passenger roof, move down to the windshield and the hood. Repeat the same step for the rev. Quickly rinse the car with the pressure washer. Next is the four door and the two side window. I only clean the top part of the door, not the lower part, and don't apply too much pressure when cleaning it. Otherwise, you risk scratching your paint. Remember to wash the watch mitt before you put it back into the paint bucket. Once done, I wash the four door with fresh water. Here, I use my wonderful 12 volt pressure washer. Next will be the front, the back, and the lower part of the car. These two areas along with the lower side door are the dirtiest part of the car. So I use a new wash mist just for this part. Only clean this part with a different wash mist once you done with the top part of the car. Again, I clean each part with water after applying soap with the wash mist. As you all know now, the next one is to clean the back. I use the same wash mist I use for the front and the side to clean the back. Next, with a powerful pressure washer, I wash the car one more time before moving to the drying and collecting step. Drying the top part of the car, I use the two large microfiber towers along with dryers, garage detailers. This is my alternative for Armor Hydrate. I pre-wet the microfiber before using it as the dry tower for the paint. The drying sequence on the paint looks exactly like the washing sequence. The top, the hood, the top part of the four door, the front, the back, and then the lower part of the door. This to make sure there is no cross contaminations when you're cleaning the car. To dry the wheel, I use a Dollar Tree microfiber tower. You can also use a terry tower as well. Again, this tower would never be used for on the paint. I spray the detailer on the tower and then rub it on the wheel. Next, with a new tower, I dry the door jab and the side of the door. And yes, I also use a detailer spray for this step. Next, I quickly tap dry the rubber tire with the same microfiber. Alright, so that's it for the water use. The next step is a glass cleaning and rain axe protecting. I use a glass cleaner from rain axe and the three microfiber technique that Larry showed in his videos. So first tower is a tower way tower. The second tower is a waffle wheel tower. And the last tower is a fine microfiber tower. I clean all the window in circular pattern as well. So windshield, the passenger side window and then the mirror and then the back side window and driver side window and then driver window and yes remember to clean the outside and then the inside as well All right, guys, so we have done the cleaning step, follow the Armor NYC Master Guide by Larry. So now it's going to be the next step, which is protecting. Keep in mind I'm a, that I am totally beginner. But now let's see how long it takes me to put sealant and waxes on this SUV. See ya. So the first thing in the protecting series is to wax the wheel. Here, I use a wheel protection from Chemical Guys as the alternative for Armor Jelly. With a glove on, I spread the protection on my hand and then rub it on the wheel. Let it sit for a few minutes and then clean it off with a clean microfiber towel. 
Next, as an alternative for armor mud, I use Maguire Endurance Thai Gel. To add the shine in the rubber tire, I also use this gel in own plastic stream of my car. Next, for paint protection, I use a new finish along with a microfiber applicator as the alternative for armor skin. Let it sit for a while and then puff it off with a clean microfiber tire. I'm sorry Larry if you're watching this video but your product is a little bit pricey for me and I would love to use your product in the future once I got a little bit more money. And thanks for teaching us one of your tips, trick and technique. Lastly, as an alternative for armor cream, I use a Maguire Gold Class Canuvo Plus Premium Paste Wax and then a microfiber applicator that comes with it to add the last layer of protection for my car. And here's the final product. Alright guys, here you go. Here you have it. After 4 hours of washing it using Armor NYC method. Here we are. So I wash it and then I protect this as well. So if you ask me if, if it's worth it, I say yes, it's worth it. But yes, it takes so much time. Like I spend about four hours washing and waxing and protecting the car. But hey, look at the paint. It's beautiful. It's very beautiful. Until next time, guys. If you if you if you like this video, please hit hit like. And if I did something wrong in the process, please let me know in the comment below.